Problem solving make new two-dimensional shapes. We can combine shapes to make new shapes. Bob wants to combine shapes to make a rectangle, and he has a square and two triangles. How can Bob make a rectangle? So we think, what do we need to find? Well, we need to find how Bob can make a rectangle. And what information do we need to use? That he uses a square and two triangles. See? A square and two triangles. How will we use the information? We can act out the problem with shapes. We have a square and two triangles. We can put them together and make a rectangle. See? A square and two triangles will make a rectangle. Two triangles make a square. See? How can we make a big square by using four small squares? We combine two squares to make a rectangle, just like that. And we make another rectangle, and we put them together. See? We have four squares, or you could look at it as two rectangles, but they make a bigger square. How can we use triangles to make a rectangle? Well, if you remember back here, two triangles make a square. We can do it two times. We can make a square, then we can make another square and put them together and make a rectangle. See? Not the prettiest rectangle. There we go. That's a little bit better, right? Okay. Look at how these two triangles made a bigger triangle, didn't they? These two in the middle. But if we put all four triangles together, we can make a rectangle. How can we use a triangle and a trapezoid to make a bigger triangle? All we have to do is put the triangle on top of the trapezoid. Look at that. And it makes a bigger triangle. How can we make this shape? I thought this looked like a baby bassinet, doesn't it? Can you see the shapes that are in this shape? What if we drew a line along here? Do you see the rectangle? We could make the rectangle with two squares. And we can use part of a circle to finish it. See? Or we could just use a rectangle. We could use a rectangle and just put this right here, couldn't we? That would make that shape. How can we make this shape right here? Well, it's got the corners down here. So we know the squares can go on the bottom to make a rectangle. And the top part looks like a semicircle, doesn't it? We can make a semicircle with the parts of a circle. It almost looks like windows of a house. We could also use a rectangle. We could just use the rectangle for the bottom part and the two parts of a circle to make a semicircle. And we could make the same shape. How can we make this shape? What if we drew lines going across like this and like this? Do you see the shapes? We have a semicircle on top. Then we have a rectangle. Then we have a semicircle on the bottom. It looks like a rectangle sandwich. Or like a hamburger, doesn't it? Now, I had fun making this. I made a big hexagon by combining 18 trapezoids. I was happy that I had enough red trapezoids to do this. I was afraid I was going to run out. I just put them together, and it made a very big hexagon. Then I took seven hexagons and 12 triangles and made a big hexagon. This looks like a flower, doesn't it? I put the triangles together. See? See? 
I had a trapezoid, and I put two triangles together to make a rhombus, and when I put them together, I made a wider trapezoid. See that? I can take two triangles and put them together and make a rhombus. When I turn it sideways, it looks like a diamond, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like a diamond shape? So we can make new two-dimensional shapes from other shapes. Here's nine squares that made a big square. Here's a lot of rhombuses that I put together to make a very long parallelogram. Our next lesson is find shapes in shapes. That's lesson 12.6. So just like we did here where we found that there was a semicircle up here, that's what we're going to be doing in the next lesson. Okay? And this is all leading us towards 12.8 where we're going to begin learning about fractions. That's coming soon. So you can make your own shapes and you could buy some shapes from the internet. I use the Learning Resources brand. You can get them on Amazon or on the internet or you can even buy them from Learning Resources. And you can get them magnetic or not magnetic. And you can get some poster board and make your own, like I said, or construction paper, okay? So have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.